movements of the earth have you ever thought why we have day and night or summer and winter these are changes brought about by the movements of the earth the earth has two types of movements rotation and revolution rotation the earth spins like a top on its own axis it spins from west to east the spinning of the earth on its own axis is called rotation the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation this time period is called a day day and night day and night are the effect of the rotation of the earth as the earth is round the half facing the sun receives sunlight and has day the opposite half of the earth does not receive sunlight at that time and has night but as the earth rotates the areas having day move away from the sun then it becomes dark there the areas which had night faces the sun and has day as the earth rotates from west to east the sun appears to be rising in the east and setting in the west actually the sun does not move revolution as the earth rotates on its own axis it also moves round the sun along a fixed path this fixed path is the earth round the sun is called orbit it is oval in shape the movement of the earth round the sun along its orbit is called revolution the earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution this period of time is called a solar year or a year the revolution of the earth causes seasons since the earth goes round the sun along an elliptical orbit the distance between the sun and the earth is not always the same moreover the axis of the earth is slightly tilted so the duration of that time when sunlight falls on a particular area of the earth is also not the same throughout the year these two factors causes different seasons for 6 months the northern hemisphere faces the sun and has summer season during this period the southern hemisphere is all away from the sun and receives less sunlight so it has winter season for the next 6 month the situation is reversed autumn and spring seasons come between summer and winter 